four mallet etude this year comes from Mitchell Peters' book, Fundamental Solos for Mallets. This year's solo is called Escapade, and it's just two pages long. One of the great things about this etude is that it's pretty straightforward. There isn't a whole lot of room for unique interpretations, so make sure when you play it that you're, you are relaxed, you use legato strokes, and you get a great sound all the time. Additionally, something that will set you apart from others, make sure you have a wide dynamic contrast. When you start those first two bars and you play forte, make sure your forte is here and then you drop piano pretty far down. Then the melody in the right hand comes in to then be a legato line with those dotted quarter notes that is played a little bit stronger than the accompaniment. So in essence, make sure we have a wide dynamic contrast. That will allow the phrases to be clear and for the audience to really understand exactly where the important lines are and phrases are throughout the piece. To help bring clarity to the accompaniment lines and the melody lines, I actually use two different hardnesses of mallets in my hands. In the left hand, I'm using the Innovative Percussion 502s. And this is from the William Mersch series. In the right hand, I'm using the IP503, which is one uh, mallet harder in the right hand. This allows me, in addition to my stroke heights and my touch, to make sure that the melody line stays legato, but then also is a little bit louder than the accompaniment lines. When the melody switches to the left hand, and the right hand has the alternating strokes, I make sure that my right hand is low and my left hand has nice, fluid, legato strokes the whole time. Make sure that you define the stroke types throughout this piece. Practice those stroke types and practice the exercises to make sure that, first and foremost, you have the fundamentals in your hands. And if you have the fundamentals in your hands, that's going to make learning the music so much easier. So just one, uh, one or two little examples. At the very beginning, the left hand plays rapid single alternating strokes. Then use a different stroke type in the right hand to measure three. You play a double vertical stroke where both mallets are hitting at the same time. To work on that, practice just the left hand without the right. Get a good feel for where that left hand needs to play. Then play just the right hand legato melody pattern. Understand what it feels like to play that. Then put them together. Utilize this practice method throughout the entire piece and you will notice great, great progress from one practice session to the next because of those fundamentals. Good luck.